friends, welcome back to our first day appointment of Total Body Sculpt. Make sure you have everything you need. You want a resistance band, a mini band is completely optional. If you don't have it, don't worry. Also, if you don't have a resistance band, you can still join us and just do all the exercises body weight. They will burn no matter what. And of course, make sure you have your water bottle, a sweat towel, and a mat or a carpet. You're okay to sweat on. So you guys, I want you to grab the third band and fold it in a half. That's it. And then as per usual, we're gonna just start with releasing all the tension from your upper body. So start in the middle of the mat, your hands just down towards the floor for now. And this week for a change, I want you to lift up your shoulder all the way to your ears and then release it down. So inhale, lift it up, lift, lift, lift. Exhale and release them down. And again, all the way to your ears. Lift, lift, lift. And last one, deep breath in. And exhale, release. Start lifting your band at your shoulder level. And we're gonna start lifting one leg and then the other towards your band as well. No matter how high the leg can go, this exercise is gonna help us to spark the heart rate up and get our body ready to go. As well as like creating a little movement into those hip flexors, especially if you've been sitting on that. This is good. Nice guys. So I want you to add a little twist over the leg that you're lifting. So twist, twist. Engaging those obliques. Welcome to the party guys. Nice job. In four, in three, in two, you press the button above your head and then forward. Above, forward, above, forward. We're going four more of these. In three, and in two, you want to have a little turn out and just scoop it forward. It's forward, forward. These are your last six. Five, four, three, two, one. You guys release. Now, we're going into your plank position with the band. So if you have a fair band, just make a double knot here in the middle of your thighs. Otherwise, grab a hold of your mini band. And with the mini band, you actually want to keep it underneath your knees. Never on your knees, guys. Never on your joint. We're going down, and today we're going to start in a half plank position. Palms directly under your shoulders. You want to place your knees hip wide apart. Take your toes under, and just directly under your hips, you want to lift those knees out to our. Engage those abdominals right away. You want to just give me a little tuck under with your pelvis. You tuck under, breathe. Little tuck, release, tuck, release. It's a teeny tiny movement, but it's gonna get your lower abdominals firing up. And we go in four, we go in three, we go in two. Last one, you wanna grab both knees to the right, center, left, center. You wanna maintain at all times the resistance in the band. Whatever the band is, are your thighs or are your calves? Nice job, guys. Two more. To the right, center, left, center. Now hold it to the right. You have eight counts here. A little wrap back, wrap back, wrap. Maintain the resistance. You have four, four, three, four, two, four, one. Back to center, to your left. We got eight, seven, six. There's a little tiny movement in four, in three, in two, in one. Now, guys, you slide both legs towards the back of the mat. Deep inhale, exhale, lift up through the ribcage, squeeze the belly button into the spine, roll your shoulder down and back, inhale, exhale, hold the position for four, for three, for two, for one, you guys, you lower down into your elbow, elbow directly under your shoulders here, from here we're going to draw a tiny little rainbow with your hips, so we're going to the right, center, left, center, we're going right, center, left, stay with me, four more, Three more, two more, last one, come back to center, right fingertips towards the left elbow, you open up towards the side, shooting the arm nice and long towards the sky, if you need to take the modification, drop down the bottom knee, otherwise lift up the top leg, take tiny little lift, eight, seven, keep smiling, six, in five, in four, in three, in two, now hold the leg up, hold, 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 lift as high as you can, you're going in four, three, two, one, come back to center, come back to your little 
rainbow. We're searching to the left this time. Left, right, left, right. Yeah, four more. We go three more, two more. Last one, and come back to center. Left fingertips towards your right elbow. Open up, staggering hip and shoulder on top of each other. Shooting the arm nice and long. Take the modification if you need to. Otherwise, lift up that top leg and take tiny lift with the leg. We got eight, seven, six, five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Hold, hold, hold at the top. We go in four, three, two, one. Bring it back to center. You guys, you want to press your palm back up, coming back into your high plank for your finale. We're going to go open your right foot, open your left foot, bring it back to center, bring it back to center. We're going to be out, out, and in. Here we go. That's it. Out, out. We're going to finish this with a little cardio bus. I want you to go out and in as fast as you can. You ready? Four, three, two, one. Let's go. We go in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. You can release the band as well. Nice job, guys. So, release the band and toes together, knees apart. We're going into your child pose to stretch. Nice job. It's just the beginning, you guys. Inhale. Exhale. Lift yourself up. And then this time, we're going to. Go straight into your triceps. So, I want you to lay into the side and I want you to wrap your right arm around your waist and lower yourself down into a clamshell position. So your heels are in line with your hips, which is in line with your shoulders. Now press your palm in front of your chest and then lift yourself all the way up into a tricep press and then lower yourself back down on the floor. So you're gonna lift for two and lower for two. Easy, lift, two, lower, two. We're going four more and lower. Feel those triceps working. Your abdominals is all, are always engaged too. Two more to go. Lift for two, lower for two. Lift for two, lower for two. You lift it up just that way and you press it down, little tiny pulses. Pulse it, pulse it. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom, find a little shaky sensation. See if you can get a little lower without dropping your body down on the floor. We go in four, three, two, one. Release and switch side right away. So you guys, straight away, you want to wrap your left arm around your waist and you want to lay down with your right palm right in front of your chest. You ready to go? In three, two, one, you press it up for two, you lower for two. Lift, make sure your heels and hips and shoulder are in one straight line. And nice job guys. You're doing great. We go two more. Lower down and lift for two. Lower down, you lift it up halfway. Tiny little pulses for eight, seven, six. Feel the pulse, feel the bend into your elbow. Four, three, two, one. Hold it halfway, hold it, hold it until you feel the little shaky sensation. In four, in three, in two, in one. You guys release and take a quick stretch before we get into the next part. Nice job. Elongating those muscles after the isometrics. Nice, shoot your palm forward, I'm rubbing yourself. Tuck your toes under, grab hold of your resistance band. We're gonna start with your bicep. So, you wanna step your right foot right in the middle of the resistance band. So, you wanna make sure that the strap is nice and equal on either side. And then you wanna make sure you have enough resistance to challenge you, which for me means two wraps around my hand. Now, we're gonna get into a lunge position. So you wanna place the left foot at the back, tuck your left toes under. And then you wanna fully stretch, just like lift up through the crown of the head straight away, engage those abdominals. 
Now, we're gonna lower down for two, and as you lower, you wanna draw the edges of the strap towards your shoulder, engaging those biceps as well as your quads. You ready? We're going to the beat. In three, two, one, let's go. Down, four, two, you lift, up, hand down, four, two, you lift, and stretch. Make sure you have no slack in this band, so you maintain the resistance. Should be challenging here, should have slack here. Nice job, hand lift. You have two more here, lower, four, two, lift, four, two, 90 degrees angle. You're drawing those knees over the middle of your toes. You hold it halfway, tiny little bend press. Bend press. Bend. For bend press, I mean you're pressing the band up towards the ceiling as well as pulsing those legs down. You know that pulse, right? You're familiar with that. We're going a little bit faster. We're going 16 pounds, you guys. So feeling the bend both in your arms and your legs today. Open up those collarbones. Engage the slats as well. In three, in two, in one, hold at the bottom. We're gonna draw a little circle with those bands. So you wanna really keep pressing those elbows into the waistline and draw the circle out and in. And out and in. We're going out, in, out, in. Woohoo! See if that back leg can go a little lower. If you're not sweating here, guys, I don't know but it does make it sweat. We guys, go four, go three, go two, one. You wanna hold it here, see if you can drop an inch lower in four, in three. Oh yes, we're gonna pulse it down to finish. We got 10 pulses, you know those. We got eight, seven, you got a little deeper in five, four, three, two, one. You guys, release and straight away. Press the left leg in the middle of the band. Shoot the right leg to the back. Tuck your toes under. Fully stretch both knees. Lift up through the crown of the head. Open up your collarbones. Now, same thing that we've done on the other side. We repeat on this side. With two legs, guys. Let's go. Lower, two, lift, up. Lower, two, lift, up. Make sure you're drawing those knees over the middle of your toes. Make sure you're keeping nice vertical spine. That's it. Tap your back knee on the floor to make sure you're going for a full range. Two more feet. Lift and down. Two, lift up, hold it halfway, turn it off, drop hold. Drop hold, pressing the band up towards the sky. Keep pressing your elbows into the waistline. Drop and hold, drop and hold. You've got this, four more. Three more and we pulse. Two more. I know it's a little bit shaky on this side already. The last one, little pulse at 60. Let's go, nice and deep, nice and low. Feel that heart rate lifting up as well. Oh yes, biceps and quads, both a big muscle group. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You guys, we're gonna draw the circle out and in, out and in. Out and in. See if you can drop the back knee a little lower. That's it, out and in. You're almost there, four more. Keep breathing, three more. Two more. Last one, hold it back in center. See if you can drop the back knee a little lower. Find the familiar shaky sensation. That is what makes us change. That's why we turn out every week. And in three, two, one, give me the 10 final pulses. Nice and deep, guys. We got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Release. You guys, today we're gonna give some love to the back chain as well. So, I want you to set both feet in the middle of the strap. I want you to grab a hold of the opposite edge of the strap. And again, make it a little bit more challenging for you if it feels too easy with only one wrap around your hands. Now from here, you wanna pitch your chest forward. If you guys can see me here. And open up your chest. Squeeze those abdominals in. Make sure you're not here. I said here. Go ahead, pitch it forward. Nice and from here. We're gonna draw those elbows up towards the sky for two. Lower down for two. Again, I don't have any slack in the band. So make sure you are wrapping those hands a little bit more. That's it, if you have it, we lift for two. And lower for two. 
Now I want you to squeeze this scapula together at the top of the rack. I want you to imagine a coin in the middle of the scapula and you want to squeeze it as hard as you can. You want to keep the coin there. Lift, two, and lower, two. Keep those abdominals engaged, long the spine for the crown of the head. Lift up, elbows up towards the sky. That's it, lift, two, and lower. Guess what, we're going lift hold, lift hold. Elbows out, squeeze the coin in the scapula. Lift hold, lift hold. Ready to double the tempo? Oh yes, here we come, 60. Lift, lift, lift. Good, in those back muscles. Pitch your chest a little bit more forward if you need to. Make sure you bend something in the knees. Go on, four, three, two. From the top, full range, lower. Two, and you lift. Squeeze, and lower. Two, you lift. Squeeze at the top, lower. Two, lift, squeeze, lower. Two, lift, squeeze, and lift hold. Lift hold. Oh yes, lift hold. Feel the burn. Your back deserves this, you guys. Those muscles are in charge of our posture. They need to be worked. Three more to go. Two more. The last one, hold it up. Tiny little pulses. We go 16 and you're out of this. If you feel a little exhausted, a little shaky sensation, that's what we need for eight, seven, six, five, a little higher, in three, in two, in one. You guys, release. Grab hold of the mini band or quickly wrap the band again with a double knot around your thighs. Again, make sure you're never on the knee. You're always above your joint with the band. So I'm gonna use the mini band for ease so that doesn't flap around. And you wanna come to a small V position for your thighs. Now from here, you wanna just gently peel your heels off the floor. Just a little inch. If you have a piece of furniture to help you keep your balance, go ahead and use it. So press your palm directly in the middle of your chest, pressing towards each other so that you switch on the slap muscles too. Roll your shoulder down and back, and we're gonna go drop and hold. Drop and hold. Now guys, I want you to imagine that you have a sort of wall at the back so that you slide down without doing this. There's no twerk in this. It looks a little sexy, but we don't want this for this purpose, for this video purpose. And four more, and three more, two more. Last one, tiny little pulses. You press it down, press, press. Really spread your toes out to give you a little bit more support. Roll your shoulder down and back. Don't let them come up towards your ears. Keep your heels together. We're going in four, three, two, one. Hold it down at the bottom and you start shaking your hips to the right, center. Maintain the resistance in the band. Left, center, right, center, left, center. We're going for a little party with those hips. Are you ready to party? Paul behind the camera is ready to party. I can see him. <laughs> Hi, Paul. That's it. And you guys, you cut off the right, the center bit. You go right and left. Right, left, right, left. I don't know what Coco is doing, but remember, you can always take the modification after the class. You guys, keep shaking those hips. And as we keep shaking, we're going into a full range. So we're gonna go four, three, two, one, left, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, left, three, two, one. Imagine that wall behind your back. So you're not pitching your chest forward, but you're sliding down the wall. You're keeping it nice and tall. And you guys, two more. Woohoo! Enjoy the party. The last one. You guys, you hold at the bottom, you don't lift hold. Lift and hold, yeah, feel the little shaky sensation. Maybe shoot your arms in a high V, nice and long towards the sky. Lift and hold, lift and hold, lift and hold. We're gonna add a lift and a wrap back. Lift, hold, wrap back. Lift, wrap back, lift, wrap back. Lift, wrap back, lift, wrap back. Hold the wrap, only wrapping. That's it, see if you can drop a little lower, squeeze the belly button in, take your pelvis under. You guys, go eight, go seven, go six, in five, in four, in three, we finish with the pulses, you ready? Oh yes, 10, nine, eight, nice and deep. Feel the 
the shake. You guys, can you go any lower? In four, three, two, one, and release. Ooh. You guys, you take a quick stretch for the squats. Down on the mat, just together, knees apart, press your left palm behind your back, and press your hip bones up towards the sky, shooting the arm up as well. Nice job, Ricky on the other side. Right palm down, left arm up. Nice. It's your booty time. We love a good booty workout. Grab the coat of the band. Again, you still have the fair band with enough. Grab the coat of that. I'm gonna use this so that doesn't flop around and doesn't doesn't uh, come in the way. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys, we get into the clanshaws right away. Isn't it your favorite workout type? So here, if your shoulder are a bit sensitive today, you take the modification to go down and lay down onto your arm. Otherwise, come with your elbow directly under your shoulders, lifting up through your side abdominals. You wanna get your heels and hips and elbow in line like we did for your triceps, okay? So your other arm can come up onto your hips or just stay in front for support. I'm gonna keep it here today. So you guys, you wanna lift up the knee for two, or lower down for two. Lift it up for two, lower down. Here we go, lift, two, and lower, two. Lift, for two. Now this exercise can become a little necky if you're up here, so feel free at any point to look down towards the floor if it does. And you lift, squeeze, lower, last one. Lift, two, and lower. You hold it up at the top and a little pop. Lift up, lift up. We go and lift up. We go in eight more. Nice job. Six, five, in four, three. Keep lifting up through those abdominals, pressing the floor away. Last one, lower down, lift up the bottom shin, and you lift, and lower. Single count this time, and lower. As those legs are becoming a little heavier, make sure you're not sinking into the shoulder. Keep lifting up, nice and strong. Four more, go three more. Starting feeling it, two more, certainly do. Last one, we're gonna hold it up, tiny little rub back. This time, again, a little bit faster, a little rub. Wrap, keep your toes together. Keep lifting up through those abdominals. Eight more. Seven, six, keep smiling. Two and five, four, three, two, one. Lower those legs down. We stretch that right leg nice and long. We're gonna lift it and lower again. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Feel the burn. Keep it going. That's it. Again, as it becomes heavier, don't shrink into the shoulder. Keep lifting up and away. In two, nice job. Plus one, tiny little pulses here, a little pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. We go in four, go three, go two, go one. Little bend press. So you wanna flex this foot, lift up and away from the floor. A little bend stretch with this legs. Bend press, bend press, bend press. That's it, four more. Three more, two more. Last one, you guys, a little bit faster. You push. Imagine a sort of resistance that you're pushing away from you. Press it away. We go in. Eight more. Keep smiling. I know, I know. Hit four. In three, in two, in one. You guys, I want you to lift yourself up. I want you to swing the leg forward. I want you to swing it back in and then lower back down. So you lift it. Swing it back and down. You lift it. You swing it back. Keep smiling, go for it. Woo That's it, three. <laughs> Cook is like, what are you shouting for? <laughs> Last one, and lift. Swing, now hold it here. We stretch the arms up, and tiny little presses up to finish. You guys keep smiling, you've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. You can do this, four, three, two, one, release, shake it off. Nice job guys. We're gonna release the band quickly, just for a quick stretch. So, you wanna take the right angle right on top of your left knee and find that 
stretch into the glutes. Maybe just the opening that right knee out. Inhale, exhale, catch your breath. Grab a sip of water if you need to. Grab two sides, like I said, for your thighs. Here we go. Nice job, guys. I know I cannot see you, but if you're still there, you're doing great. So, stay with me. We're almost there. Oh yes, almost there. Sooner than what I thought. So you guys, elbows directly under your shoulders. Straight away, you're engaged in the spot, guys. Your abdominals, heels, and hips, and elbow in one straight line. You guys, you lift up the knee for two, and lower for two. Keep your toes together. That's it. You might feel straight away the little sh shaky sensation on this side. Yes, the legs are tired. We're working them hard. And lift out. Lift out. Lift out. Lift out. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. You guys, you lower down. You lift up the bottom shin. And we go in single count. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep your toes together. And remember to not sink into the shoulders. Remember your modification and lay down on the top of your right arm. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it up at the top. Tie your right back. Hey, Coco. How you doing? She's hiding today. And eight more. Camera check. Six. In five. In four. In three. In two. In one, lower back down. Fully stretch your leg. Lift up and away from the floor. We go in kind of lift and lower. Lift and lower. Make sure you're not rotating here. You're staying on the bony part of your hips. You're keeping your weight forward. You're not on your glutes. You are on your hip bone. That's it. You guys, you hold it up. Turn your pulses up to the top. Lift up and away from the floor. You see, I was sitting as well there. That's it. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, oh, Coco. I'm gonna push her away from me. Push her away. Push it away. No, I will never do. I'm joking. <laughs> Flex your foot and bend rest your knees. Bend push. Bend push. Little ones and faster. And press. And press. In each position, I wanna take a picture. So be nice and sharp. That's it. You go. Eight more. And six. You guys, in four, three, two, and one. Now, you wanna swing your arm, your leg forward. So you wanna lift it up and swing it forward, swing it back and down. Lift it up, swing it forward, back, down. You ready? Let's go. That's it. Four more. Woo! Three more. You're so nearly there. You know, we're building up that finale. Last one, we're gonna hold it there. You guys, shoot the arm nice and long. Take time to lift to the top and lift and lift. Lift that high, as high as you can. Keep that little shaky sensation. You guys, we go four, in three, in two, in one. Release, release the band. We're almost done with that. Like almost. Yes, almost. You wanna stretch the glutes? So, left ankle comes on top of the right knee. Push that knee a little bit more open. To make sure you feel the stretch. And I'm getting those muscles. You guys are doing great. In three, in two, in one. You guys, grab a hold of the band. One on the other, you know it by now. It doesn't matter. You're on the top of your knees, not on your knees. On the top of them. You want to lay down on the mat. Ooh, that feels good. Well, <laughs> you tell me in a minute. So roll your shoulder down and back. Release all the tension. You want to plant your fingertips on the floor and gently you want to float one leg and then the other into a tabletop position. So your knees are just above your hips. Now, inhale, exhale, maintain the resistance in the band and then you want to deep both toes down towards the floor and lift it back up. You want to lower down the leg just as far as they can go without arching the lower spine. So keep imprinting the lower spine as much as you can on the floor and do not arch. If you arch, that means that you completely lost the connection with the subdominance. That's it. Nice job. Keep pressing onto the fingertips. 
Shoulder down and back. No tension in your neck. Say yourself, no, no. No tension. Feel it. Two more. And lift. Last one and lower for two. And lift for two. Now guys, you want to grab hold of the back of your thighs. And you want to roll up and turn me back out. Keep going. Lift and hold. Lift, hold. Lift, hold. Squeeze this belly button in. Gently curve the spine. Lifting your shoulder blades completely off the floor. Tuck your chin to the chest. Four more. Three more. Keep the tension in the band. Two more. Last one. Now hold it here. Inhale, exhale, and take those legs. Slide it as long as you can, and then bring it back in. Now slide it as long as you can, and then bring it back in. Even if they go just here, that's completely fine. As long as you maintain those abdominals engaged. Nice job. Maybe release those hands. If it feels good, if you feel strong today, I hope you do. You guys are doing great. Four more. And three more. You're going two more. And last one. You guys, tiny little lift up. Lift hold. Lift hold. Maintain the length and lift hold. You guys, four more. Three more release. Two more. Last one. And little release. Quick. You're going to just swap and change the band. So they're just in the sole of your foot and you want to bend one knee and take the opposite elbow towards that knee and then switch on the opposite side. There's sort of like bicep crunches, um, sorry, bicycle crunches with a band and you switch and you switch and you switch and you switch. You guys, as usual, we're going to finish this with a little cardio burst. You ready to go? In three, two, one. Let's go as fast as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you guys release. Get rid of the band. This time for good. And curl up into a little ball. Roll side to side. Releasing all the tension in your back, in your upper body. Giving your spine a little massage. Now take both knees to the right hand side, head and shoulder to the left. Feel the T stretch, really pressing the shoulder in the mat. Inhale, exhale, gently bring it back to center and take it to the opposite side, opening into the chest, pressing both shoulder down on the floor. You guys bring it back to center, roll forward and back, give your spine a little massage, start rocking with a little tiny movement, then make them bigger and bigger until you feel ready to come all the way up. Now you guys, really stretch the legs right in the front. You can use the band here. A little bit on the sole of your foot and helping yourself to come down into a deeper stretch. Or if you don't need the band, of course you can rub hold of your toes of your feet. Whatever feels available and comfortable for you today. Inhale, exhale, and release. Lift it up. Now, guys, grab a hold of the band. Bend it in two. You're gonna thank me for this exercise. This is such a groundbreaker exercise. It's gonna really open your chest. So, you need to cross your leg or sit in whatever position you feel comfortable, even on your knees. And then grab a hold of the paraband. Send it above your head and then bend soft in your elbow, 90 degrees angle on either side of your body. Now from here, you might feel a little shaky sensation. I'm shaking already. And it's completely normal. Simply as our chest are no longer used to stay in this position, we are always hunching over a computer or a phone. So this is a good, good stretch. Now we're gonna add a little side abdominal stretch. You wanna send that right elbow towards the floor, left elbow up towards the ceiling. Send the gaze up as well. Keep the tension in the band. Keep shake away. Woo. And back to center. Inhale. Exhale, other side. Nice job. Feel the length on the side of the body. Three, two, one. 
two, one, bring it back to center and release the stretch. Go well, guys, feel free to use the stretch at least once a day. Shoot your palm forward and rub it yourself. We're down here, tuck your toes under, come up into a quick down dog, into down dog. You can pedal your feet away or you can just hold the position here, feel the stretch into those back muscles, feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Deep inhale. Deep exhale and gently bend soften your knees and walk your feet all the way towards your palm. Grab a hold of opposite elbows and release all the tension remaining in your shoulder and your upper body. Come back to center and release your elbows. Bend soften your knees a little further. Gently one vertebra at a time, letting your chin come in last. Roll up for the spine. That was a sweaty one. You guys, take a deep inhale, press your palm above your head. Exhale, and bow yourself well done. Thank you so much for joining me this week as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments, and, or maybe just leave me a little heart, and I'll see you next week for more. Thank you guys, have a lovely evening.